Next up on WCTR, the news. We try to make it interesting and not depressing. This is Leanne Forger, WCTR News. Foreigners are coming. Who are they and why should we care? The FDA warns shampoo is killing your unborn child. Plus, protests continue outside the Zebra Bar Candy Company. Now for traffic and transit with Richard Burns. That's right, Leanne. I'm Richard Burns. The aftermath of the devastating earthquake continues. Travel is still severely restricted statewide. Officials say there are still no reported casualties, which is truly unfortunate as it makes for incredibly boring news. The federal government is still refusing aid to help rebuild bridges, and everyone is blaming each other. The governor is threatening to bomb Australia, despite scientific proof it wasn't their fault. Richard Burns, WCTR. Police say gang trouble is on the rise again, especially in Los Santos. Sources believe it is linked to the rising drugs trade, while others blame the fascist pigs. Also in gang news, customs officials report a huge influx of Russian mobsters and cheap weapons since the fall of the wall. The governor's office said everything is okay. In Vinewood news, rapper Mad Dog was celebrating the launch of his new clothing line. Richard caught up with him. The thing about Mad Dog is... I'm thinking about becoming a superstar. I mean, you know, I've done everything I could do in the rap game. I want shit hands down. Nobody can handle me, you know? Lifetime champ, no shit. Can I say shit? Oh, hey, man, it's cool. That's cool? Okay, no shit. I got clothes. I got labels coming out, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing drinks. I got shoes, tires, rims. Thinking, you know, next stage is being a full-on superstar, you know? I get to wear a tight suit. I nail a lot of tail, you dig? You know what I do in real life? Gotta get me a drink, though, right now, because I'm thirsty, you know? What a troubled man. Sounds like he should lay off the sauce. Also today, a Tourette's theater group banned from the park, unless they take up mine. And finally, in foreign news, a suspected U.S. agent was caught in Panama selling weaponry to right-wing guerrillas, causing a major incident. But we plan mostly to gloss over the implications and hope you enjoy some sporting activity tonight. The State Department is advising against foreign travel. This was Leanne Forger, WCTR News. Let's be careful out there. <laughs>